Today we'll be configuring the MVI69E-MBS module and we're going to be setting up commands to speak to a micro motion. First we're going to select the new module, right click and select choose module type. Now by the filter type we're going to choose MVI69E and from the drop down menu we're going to choose the MBS module. Just select OK and expand the module, expand the MVI69E-MBS and choose module. Double click on module and that will bring up the edit window. Now we're going to give it a name. The name has to match the name we're giving it in RS Logics. Next we're going to be going over the read register starts, the read count, the write register start, and the write count. This is basically partitioning our read and write arrays for the module. Um, next we're going to be looking at the block transfer size. This is imperative to match up to what's in our ladder logic and also the slot number. So we'll go ahead and select OK. Next we're going to choose MBS port 1 and change the type to a master. We're going to be doing RTU 8 none and 1 and we're going to leave the response timeout at 1000. We're going to change the retry count down to 0 because we don't need to keep retrying commands that are failing. We'll go ahead and change the command error offset to 500. This is going to map in status data for each command that we have configured into our read array in RS Logics. Next we're going to go ahead and configure a command. So we'll right click on Modbus port 1 commands, select add a row, and now we'll select edit row. First the command is going to be enabled continuous internal address 0 which this will land at the first internal address of our module. Next we'll choose our register count and for the register count we're going to refer to the micro motion user manual. So here in the micro motion we're going to be reading some volume units and they're going to start at 40,132 and 40,134 basically two real values. So that's going to be four integers. So when we go back over to our ProSoft configuration builder, we're going to choose four for a register count. Now swap code, this will correct any swapping issues that we have. Um, byte swap, word swap. Um, node address is going to be node address four. We're going to use a Modbus function code three, read holding registers. And the Modbus address and device is going to be 131. It's going to be a 40,001 offset of the value that we saw in the micro motion user manual. So we're going to choose 40,132. We're going to subtract 40,001, which will give us 131. Now that we've configured our first micro motion, we're going to go ahead and add a second command. Now we're going to select Edit Row and choose um, a different internal address so the data won't be overwriting each other. So we're going to choose internal address 10 register count for 4 as well because we're going to be reading the same values. Um, this node address is going to be 5 because it's a different node on the network and we're going to use the same MB address and device 131 or 40,132 and then we'll select OK and we'll select OK. So now we have two commands configured for two micro motion devices. Next we're going to go ahead and add a Modbus port 2 as a slave, this baud rate is going to be 9600 because we're going to be the slave to a master device. So we're going to choose 9600, 8, none, and 1. Um, our internal slave ID is going to be slave address 15. And we don't need to do any offsets, so we'll just leave all that default. And now we're going to go ahead and export the add on instruction file. So we go ahead and right click on the module, select export add on instruction. And we'll just go ahead and save this right to our desktop. So I'm going to select Save. Now we're going to create the RS Logix 5000 file. So we'll select New. First thing, we're going to choose our processor, which is a 1769-33-ER. And we're going to be using version 20. And we're going to go ahead and name it the um, MVI69E underscore MBS. And we're going to go ahead and select OK. Okay, 
Now we're going to go ahead and add the module into the I.O. configuration. So we'll right click on the 1769 bus and select add a module. We're going to filter it by other and choose a generic 1769 module. We're going to give the module name um, the MVI69E underscore MBS and the we're going to change the data type to data INT and we're going to leave it in slot 1 but we're going to change the input size to 62 the output size to 61 and we'll leave the configuration size to 0. Now go ahead and select OK and 20 milliseconds seems like a good RPI. So now we'll go ahead and go to the main program um, double click on the main routine right click on rung 0 and select import rungs now here's where we're going to choose that AOI that we exported from ProSoft Configuration Builder so I'm going to go ahead and grab the AOI that we exported and select import now this is going to bring a dialog box up we're going to go down to tags and make sure that that's all appropriate we're using local one and the name is correct so now that we're going to select OK, this is going to import the rung. Now we still have that rung 0, so we're going to go ahead and delete that rung 0. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you that it created a add-on instruction, also cr and created user-defined data types, and it also created controller tags. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the controller tag structure and where you're going to expect to see data coming into our module and where you're going to put data to go out of our module. So it's going to be under MBS and then it's going to be under data and the read data is going to be the data we're going to see the micro motion come into and the write data is we're going to be data that we're going to be pushing out to that micro motion device or any other device on the Modbus network. So we're going to go ahead and select uh, communications, who active. We're just going to go ahead and download this program to my processor. So I'm using Ethernet, and we'll go down to my IP address. It's the L33ER. And go ahead and select the processor and select download. We're downloading to the processor. Now we're done with the RS Logics portion. We're going to go back to our ProSoft Configuration Builder, and now is where we're going to download the um, the configuration file to our module. But we do it a little different. We're going to go ahead and actually download to the processor. So I'm going to go through RS Who again, and I'm going to drill down to our processor. I'm going to select our processor, and I'm actually going to leave it at the processor because how our module gets its configuration if it doesn't have one initially it's going to look to get a configuration from the processor. So now that we've selected our module, we'll go and hit test connection and download. It's just going to give us a warning saying the configuration is different than what it has on board. So ahead and go ahead and click download. And that concludes the configuration of the MVI69E-MBS. Uh, thank you and happy training.